Thanks for joining us here at Rose Quartz Mediumship Podcast, where we simply adore anything and everything healing and metaphysically based. I want to tell you a story about an experience that I had relatively recently that really helped me to understand the power of being inside of my body. Somatic healing has been incredible for me. And I've watched it be incredible for a lot of other clients and people in my reality as well. I was recently invited to a girlfriend's house for lunch. And I just adore this human. I love the person who she is and the unique way that she moves through the world. And I love the authenticity that comes out of her. Every single time that I'm in contact with her, it feels delicious. I just adore it. And so as my husband and I were driving to her house for lunch, I noticed that I was feeling something inside of my body. And because I'm immersed in the somatic world, I started to tune into the sensations that were happening inside of my body so that I could understand what it was that I was feeling. The energy felt a little bit jittery and a little bit like a contraction, like a pullback or a pull away. And that felt weird to me. And so as we were driving, I closed my eyes and I just started being with the sensations that were happening inside of my body. Recognizing that my mind was trying to rationalize them. And so I really dropped into my body and felt what was there to feel. With somatics, one of the most important things that we do is to be with what is true inside of our system. To be with the truth of what is happening inside of our body. And as I really tuned into the sensations that were happening inside of my body, I recognized that there was resistance to going to her house and having lunch with her. And because we were only about two minutes away, when I took the time to really tune into myself and feel what there was to feel there, I started to process it with my husband. And I said to him, I have this really weird sensation happening inside of my body right now. And he said, oh yeah, what's that? And I said, I don't really wanna have lunch with my girlfriend. And he was completely confused by this, as was I, because There is no part of me consciously that feels any resistance to her. I love her. I adore her. I love the way that she moves through the world. And so it felt really in opposition to have my body have resistance to going and having lunch with her when my conscious mind was so open and so excited to get to share time and space with her. And she's somebody who I don't get to see a lot. But when I do see her, I really cherish the time that I have with her. And so this resistance inside of my system felt odd. And again, in the somatic world, you are with what is true inside of your system. You don't try and deny it or override it. You are with what is true inside of your system. Because we were only about two minutes away, we were turning onto the road that turns onto the road for her house as I started to have this conversation with my husband and he kind of giggled and started rationalizing with me right and he said maybe you want to control what you're having for lunch with her because I'd originally said that I just wanted to visit with her that I didn't want to have a meal mostly because I didn't want to put her out right Um, And he said, maybe you don't like the fact that it was important to her to have a meal with you. And I kind of sat with that. And and even right now, I can (laughs) notice that I'm 
squinting my face and I'm, <laughs> I'm in resistance to that concept. And so I was sitting and pondering that in the kind of two minute window that I had and asking myself if that was the truth. If I was actually not liking that I wasn't in control. And I kind of came to the fact that 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 didn't feel true for me. That there was some other resistance, but that I couldn't consciously understand it. And so I just allowed it to be what it was. There was resistance to having lunch with my dear friend who I love. And so we pull into her driveway, and my husband puts the car in park, and we get out. And I notice that the sensations that are happening inside of my body that I'd been tuning into, the resistance, got more intense. And as we walked up the pathway to her house, I noticed that the resistance just got louder and louder and louder inside of my body. And if I'd had the time and space to be able to pause and really spend a bit more time there, I know that I could have figured out what the resistance was. But I didn't actually have that time, or I didn't perceive that I had that time, right? We could have pulled over, and I could have spent some time being with myself. But we'd made an agreement about the time that I was going to be getting there, and we wanted to honor that. And so we showed up. And as she opened the door and gave us a hug, gave us each a hug, I I felt my body relax, and yet there was still this resistance. And she welcomed us into the house, and as we stepped in, I could smell salmon cooking. And she said, oh, I'm making you this salmon dish, and she was so excited, and she'd worked really really hard to make this beautiful delicious meal for us and the issue is that I very very rarely eat meat and so it all made sense in a moment in that moment where she told us that she'd made us a salmon meal I understood the resistance that was happening inside of my body. Somewhere I already knew that she was gonna make a meal that I actually didn't want to eat. (laughs) That I didn't want to eat the salmon. (laughs) Um, And so I looked over at my husband and he smiled at me and his eyes had complete recognition of what it was that I had been receiving in the car on the ride to her house. And she said, I hope that you like salmon. And again, this is a woman who I adore. And so I smiled and said, we can't wait. Even though internally, there was a part of me that was just dying, thinking about having to eat this salmon that she had lovingly prepared for us. And so we were sitting there having lunch together and my husband and I each had a piece of salmon and then other food on our plate and she got up to get something and my husband who loves me dearly reached over and snatched half of the salmon off of my plate and there was this moment where I was like what are you doing and then I recognized what it was that he was doing he was doing the kindest thing that he could do for me which was to eat half of my salmon so that I only had to eat half of the salmon. And in that moment, I recognized that this experience that I was having was only ever there. I was only experiencing this experience of having the salmon and having this woman who I love serve it to us from the deepest, most loving place inside of her so that I could understand and trust the power of what I receive. If you take any classes with us, you know that I will say on repeat that 
our bodies are the best divination tools that we will ever own. They're incredible. They will teach us so much about us if we learn to listen to them and if we learn to to speak the language of our own body. And so yes, I ate salmon that I didn't really want. But man, did I get the most beautiful lesson. It was just a stunning way to learn. And I felt so much gratitude for the universe, for having served this lesson up for me to experience. And over the next couple of weeks after that experience, there were multiple times where I would receive something. I would feel something in my body and I would notice the old pattern of me questioning myself start to bubble up. And I could remember that experience. And it allowed me to quickly find a place of deep trust in what my body was telling me. It didn't need to make sense to my mind. And it was truly a lesson where I learned that my body is not going to lie to me. And it was something that I consciously knew, but it was a very different level of knowing that when my body talks to me, it's not lying. My mind that day in the car was the part of me that was trying to rationalize, understand, and make excuses. But my body fully understood and was not confused. It was not lying to me. And so I wanted to tell this story in the event that you're in the phase of your development with yourself where you question what your body is saying to you and just offer you the opportunity to sit with this a little bit and learn to trust what your body is saying to you. Taking the time to tune in and feel the sensations that are happening inside of our body is not something that is taught in our culture. In fact, we are oftentimes taught to override the sensations that are happening in our body and to allow our mind to lead. The amazing part about being willing to tune into your body and be with the truth of what your body is telling you is an absolutely stunning gift that we get the right to have in this human experience. And so I just want to invite you to build a deep bonded relationship with your body and to explore it and to learn to speak the language that your body speaks. It's worth your time and it's worth your energy to build that kind of relationship with your body because it will teach you so much about you, about what's right for you, what might not be right for you, and how to interpret that.